the last couple of nights I've done um, videos and recording of setting up a plan in the C-Star app. Tonight I want to do something a little bit different and be a little more mindful of what I'm imaging. And so I want to set up a plan that will image four galaxies. So if you watched my other a couple of videos about setting up the plan. I used different um, methods of doing so. Some of it was just mashed up together stuff and just crossing my fingers and hoping to get something good. And uh, the second one I did, I used an app, an outside app called C uh, Star Walk. Um, in this one, I'm just going to use the C Star mapping guide and I'm going to I want to do four galaxies and just put a lot more exposure time on each one. And I'm going to do a plan so that they're fairly close together in the sky um, so that we can get a better image. Um, they should be easier to navigate to. And hopefully with the exposure time, we'll get nice images that we can work with in post-processing. And so that's my plan going forward. And so I went into the Sea Star Sky Map and I found M82. And that's the first one that I'm going to add to my plan for tonight. So in this video, I'm not going to go through the step by step and arrows pointing all over and clicking and screenshots and all that showing how to create the plan. Um, if you want more information on that, I'll leave some links to those other videos that I created showing that. This one, I'm just going to do it in the um, star map in the C Star app and add them. And then we're going to see what our results end up being. So this first one is M82. And when I put it down, I added it to my plan. You can see it there in the bottom. It had a fairly lower... Um, trajectory. And so I wanted to start that one later in the night. And so you can see that down below that um, it will be probably the third imaging that I do for the night. M82 is the Cigar Galaxy. And I have imaged this one before, but I've only had my C star a couple of months. So I haven't had time to accumulate tons of exposures. So I would like to do more. It does show up pretty quickly. And so it's a fun one to image. I also selected this one because there's um, three other galaxies within close proximity. And so it will make my plan easy to make for tonight. The second one that I want to do for um, the plan is M81. It's just right below M82 in the sky, and it's a pretty visible one. It's a spiral galaxy, and it's a pretty one. And so I want to add that one to the plan. And um, this will prevent the sea star having to track all over the sky just randomly on ones that I've put in. I'm trying to be more mindful of um, utilizing the objects that are close together. And I thought this set of galaxies would be a good place to start that kind of an experiment. M81 is Bodhi's galaxy, and it's just a little bit lower in the night sky from the Cigar galaxy. And so when I put it down in the plan, it's going to have a similar trajectory as the Cigar galaxy. Um, but the next one that I'm going to do is even lower than that. So. I needed to schedule this one earlier in the night, and it is a little bit low in the sky, um, so there is a chance right at the beginning that it won't be able to find it, but I tried some low ones last night, and they worked fine, so let's cross our fingers and hope that this one does well tonight as well. The next one in the lineup is NGC 3077. Um, it is a disrupted elliptical galaxy, and it is a little bit smaller than the other two. And so I, that's why I didn't want to put it 
really low in the horizon and do it first. Um, I want to give it the best chance it can to image. Um, so I'm going to put this second in the lineup. Um, it is a little bit smaller, so we'll see how well that works. So once I add that one to the plan, you can see that its trajectory is also similar to the other two. And that makes sense because they're all right there together in a small little area. You can almost image them um, all together in one um, image if you want. Um, I'm not sure if all three would fit, but maybe with the mosaic mode for sure it, it would. And so that's our third object in the night sky. I'm giving that one a lot more time than the first one just because it's so small. I'm also giving the Cigar Galaxy the same amount of time. This one is M102. It is the Spindle Galaxy, and it's, it's a little bit higher in the night sky than the other three, um, but it's a little further apart than those. And so we had more time in our schedule, and so we might as well fill it up with some galaxies. And so we are going to add M102 as our fourth image. All right, so we've added M102 to our schedule, and you can see that it is on a little bit different elliptical pattern, um, but it's right around the same elevation in our night sky. And so that one will be a good one to add there at the very end. Um, let's see how it goes. I'll post results and let you know if I have any hiccups along the way. But my plan is that the two in the middle will run a little bit longer than the two on the ends. So M31 or M81 will be a little bit less time than the NGC uh, 3077 and the Cigar Galaxy. And then the M102 will be a little shorter than those as well. So we'll see how it goes tonight, and I'll be sure and post the results. Just for reference, this is our plan for tonight. Um, it looks like a pretty good pattern to start with. So we'll see how it goes, being a little bit more focused in what we're imaging. If you've done some plans that had some nice groupings, um, other plans that worked really well for you, share it in the comments and we'll all take turns learning from each other. So this is what we got last night on our galaxy planning mode. Um, this one is Bodhi's Galaxy and it turned out really nice. It, was bright early on. It was earlier in the evening when we were still awake. Uh, and it appeared really quickly. And it just got a little bit brighter as the night went on. But it was a it's a nice one that I wouldn't want to do a whole lot of post-processing on. I've decided to do some light post-processing on another one, but I'll indicate that when I do so that you know the difference. This is the original straight off the sea star, no denoising nothing. It's just the stacked images off of the sea star. This one is that same galaxy. I did a slight amount of post-processing. Of course, I cropped it and made it fit in the screen, but I, I brightened it just a hair and darkened the background just a little. I'm not um, very experienced in post-processing, so what you see from me is going to be minor things unless I tell you different. This one is that NGC 3077, and it was really small. Um, so I, I'm kind of not surprised that this one's pretty fuzzy and would be hard to identify as a galaxy. And like I said, I'm not great at post-processing, um, but I'll give it a whirl and see if I can make it look any better. But this is the original off of the sea star from last night. I debated whether or not I should share this post-processing. It's pretty bad, but um, I wanted to show the reality of post-processing. It can 
make things get better or make them worse. And I don't know if, if this one's any better, um, but it does show the filaments around the galaxy a little bit. This one is the Cigar Galaxy, and it turned out very nice. It, I've done this one before, and it always turns out nice. Um, you can really see that red in the center, the band around the cigar, I guess. I think it turned out nice. I will do a little bit post-processing. Here's my version of the post-processing. I darkened the background, uh, lightened up the white filament just a little bit, and then enhanced that red uh, stripe in the middle of the band of the cigar. And I thought it turned out nice. This is M102, the last one in our lineup for last night. It's a spiral galaxy and it turned out pretty nice. It, it would need a little bit more stacking to get the detail, but it at least looks like a galaxy. So my post-processing on this one is a little bit different. I wanted to make it look more cosmic. And so I added some purple and some blue and darkened the background. Um, it turned out okay, but it's still pretty fuzzy and would need more stacking exposures to make it crisp up a little. So that wraps up our night of the four galaxies in one night plan. Um, if you've come up with a good combination, uh, share in the comments below. We'd love to hear your adventures as well. And wishing everybody clear skies. Thanks for watching.